Somebody's walking out of a bar and they've had too much to drink and they're a friend of ours, we take the keys from them and we get them a ride home. But if they walk out of that same bar and they're yakking on their phone and they get in their car, nobody says anything. It's been nearly two years since we first met safety consultant Tom Geltz at his Hudson home where his daughter Megan and granddaughter Paisley once lived. That's a 2010 Ford Fusion and they don't make convertibles and it was totally, the top of it was totally gone. Megan was killed in 2016 and though he says the pain is still raw, he's determined to bring some good out of the very worst a parent can experience. When they say that lose a child, you lose part of yourself. That's exactly what I feel. And yeah, you, you know, I'll never get over it. Drew Fleming, the driver who hit and killed Megan and her unborn child, pleaded guilty to one count of reckless driving, a gross misdemeanor. Although the Washington County Attorney's Office couldn't conclusively prove he was texting at the time of the crash, he was traveling at a high rate of speed even after crossing into oncoming traffic, driving 75 yards in a ditch, and launching into the air, landing on top of Megan's car and pushing it on its side. Law enforcement failed to test for drugs or alcohol. Hey, she died there. She died right there, you know, and as a father, you think you'd want to, you want to always protect your kids and I couldn't. You know, I tried to teach her how to drive defensively and, and all, but she was totally innocent sitting behind a stop sign there and uh, didn't probably didn't, didn't even never even know what hit her. The judge in the case sentenced Fleming to serve at least 90 days in jail with school release, two years of probation, 20 hours of community service, and a $500 fine. Frustrated by the lack of consequences for distracted drivers, Giltz has pushed for a hands-free bill. But as he's learned, change comes slowly. If we keep on with the mindset of, we have to wait till we know everything. We're never gonna know everything. So then we're not gonna do anything. So then every time all these distracted driving crashes occur, you know, and we got a new family that in, that's introduced to our, uh, Victims Advocate Coalition, we've got to explain to them, yeah, we failed, we failed you, because now you're here too. Gelt says his work has served as therapy, but admits sharing his story isn't easy. Believing Megan is with him, helping to raise awareness so another family never suffers the same fate. I've got uh, some of them that uh, I hand out to you know, schools, yeah. Along with his wife, Wendy, they plan to start a foundation focusing on drug and distracted driving prevention. And though the pain of Megan's loss is felt daily, Gelt says her death has changed his perspective on living. People are scared of dying and, you know, people don't want to die. But, you know, after this all happened, I'm not afraid of dying anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not looking forward to it. I can't really say that, but I... I'm looking forward to seeing Megan and meeting my grandson someday. I think that'll be terrific.